conversation with Bette Midler. Bette Midler, early on, calling attention to herself as the divine Miss M. Bette, just last year, with her number one Grammy-winning song, Wind Beneath My Wings. From a distance, and Bette today, with her first solo album in eight years. It's called Some People's Lives, and it includes the song From a Distance. It's Midler music with a broad message. And there are no guns, no bombs, and no disease. It has a humanitarian message. I feel sometimes as though I wish I could just stand on a, a soapbox or a balcony and, and just yell, stop, stop. Why is, does it have to be this way? Why can't it be another way? Have you always felt that way? Or is this a change, a kind no, of a new I, awareness? I never, no, I think it's a change. I, th I think life is, it's a short, life is a short proposition. You know, how long do we really live and how much are we going to accomplish? Or are we just going to live it up and have a ball and the hell with everybody else? That's, a lot of people have that attitude. You get the feeling that a lot of people just want the status quo to continue so that they don't have to think about it so they can end their lives peacefully. But I don't feel that way. I feel that some changes, even if they're tiny, they have to be made. It seems like a major evolution for the divine Miss M as we remember her, you know, frolicking on stage well, and being pretty raunchy. Well, I always had it. I always had a boy. That's a big ring you're wearing. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> Christmas! How many people had to dig that up, doll? Um, I have no stones. As we talked, Bette made it clear that as she has grown, her act has changed, and she wishes that a lot of today's music would change along with her. She's not a big fan of dirty and explicit lyrics. It doesn't make us better. It doesn't illuminate our lives. It doesn't elevate us. It doesn't elevate our consciousness. It doesn't make us smarter. It's, it's all degrading. Everything is degrading. And, I, I, and, and people get used to that, and pretty soon that's the only thing they know. But all this life says her life today is fulfilled. There's her husband and her four-year-old daughter. There's her music, and she has a successful movie career, just completing her ninth movie, a film with Woody Allen. Time has indeed complimented Bette. I don't remember where I was reading about it, but it was you talking about how there were times in your career a number of years ago where you actually came on stage and, and you were loaded, you know, on one thing or other, and it, it was... Um... Why are you laughing? <laughs> Come back to haunt me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what so, are your feelings about that? Well, I ruined my voice. That was for starters. I couldn't sing. I would sing one song and my throat would be raw. And then it would go on I would lose my voice. So I stopped doing that. But I did have a, 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 a pre predilection for stingers. I really liked stingers, which is something awful. Brandy and cream to mint or something. And I never felt them because they were... I ne didn't know what I was drinking because it was so sweet. But gee whiz, I had a lot of fun on them. You know, just one. I'm such a cheap drunk. I would never do it again. I don't drink at all anymore. Do you ever, being, being a very reflective person, do you ever sit and think back about the past, think what might have been or how you might have changed it, or just plain miss it? I remember things that happened to me in the past, but I never think I wish I had done this or I, I have no regrets. If I hadn't grown up the way I grew up, I wouldn't be myself. Mm -hmm. And if I hadn't been through what I've been through, I, I wouldn't be the same person. And I kind of like who I am. Beth's new album, Some People's Lives, is number 25 on the pop album chart. And